After my last video where I only used one set of tires for the entire race against 0% AI and my tires exploded, I got an interesting comment. So we've got another challenge. To race against 0% AI in the wet with only soft compound tires. And to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to do it at Monaco. This is going to be like driving on ice, so... I don't know, we'll, we'll see. So unfortunately for a wet race, the game makes you start on the wet compound tires. We cannot start on any of the dries, so what we're going to do is start with one lap on the wets, pit immediately after the first lap, and then switch to the softs, which we'll have for the rest of the race. But anyway, five red lights are coming on, and we are off for our 0% AI race in Monaco. It's going to be quite tricky to get past these guys on the first lap. I want to get past as many drivers as I can before we dive into the pit lane, kind of sneaking up the inside into turn one. And that gets us a couple of places right off the bat. A little bit of contact with Bottas. All right, Bottas behind us now into the top 15. Going to try to go for a move around the outside right here. And uh, Perez is completely blocking me to the inside, which is a slightly annoying. It would have been nice to get another car into that corner. But they're still side by side, Perez and Yuki. We're just going to squeeze up the inside. No problem at all putting them in the rearview mirror. Anyway, both the Alpines in front of us now. Maybe going for a move up the inside into the hairpin which is always a little bit sketchy. There's not a lot of space, a lot of contact. Rubbing wheels with Pierre Gasly. Going to go around the outside now. Still side by side through these corners, but this last one is definitely going to do the job around the outside. And uh, there we go. Pierre Gasly behind us. So already in the top eight. That was uh, that was actually pretty quick. Man, I always forget how slow the 0% AI is. It's, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. We're on Alonzo's ass right now. Uh, heading into the swimming pool section, maybe going for a move up the inside, light braking right here, really just squeezing the nose in right there. So we're going to go into the top seven before we can get into the pit lane. Not too bad. So we passed most of the field, and now we're going to be pitting for the soft compound tires. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, very close to the wall right there. <laughs> but uh, here we go, on to the softs. And I cannot imagine that this is going to be very easy. We'll, we'll see. All right, the rest of the field has passed us. We're back in last place. And this is the moment of truth. How hard is it going to be to control this car? I'm taking it very nice and cautious out of the pit lane. But uh, we'll see once we get into the first couple of corners if it's, uh, <laughs> if it's doable. It's very, <laughs> it's very hard to put the power down. This might be... This might be tricky. Yeah, definitely hard to uh, even keep the car straight out of the corner. Huge kick of oversteer right there. Oh my god. All right, so now we get to start putting in the work. Logan Sargent is three seconds ahead. Right here, the tunnel is dry, so we might have a slight advantage in this part of the track. Okay, somehow we're, uh, we're still catching Logan Sargent. You can see we've pretty much knocked out two seconds to Logan from last lap to this lap, so maybe we can go for a move soon. All right, looking like our first overtake of the race on the softs up the inside of Logan Sargent, just barely getting up the inside. We're still side by side, so the job's not finished. Contact as Logan kind of veers into us. Wide berth around the outside of this hairpin. Going to try to avoid uh, slamming into him, getting any front wing damage up the inside for this corner and inside for the next corner as well, and that should be job done heading into the tunnel. So we got what, 19 more overtakes to uh, to do here. All right, Guan Yu Zhou is our next target. It's definitely really sketchy through this section. You know, very beginning of sector three is very shaky. Oh my God, it's, <laughs> it's really hard to control the car. Okay, here we go. We're definitely gonna be able to get a move on Guan Yu Zhou, maybe around the outside here. We'll see if we can make it stick. we we'll get the inside for the next corner, kind of kicking out the rear end, unfortunately. Slamming into Guan Yu Zhou for just a second there, but that's another overtake done. Luckily, these guys are pretty bunched up, so I can get a couple overtakes per lap. It looks like really sticking close to Valtteri Bottas. Definitely gonna go for a move up the inside here. Very close to front wing contact with uh, Bottas's right rear there, but we make it through no problem. And somehow we're setting purple sectors. I don't know how that's possible. Here we go. Our next target is Kevin Magnuson. It looks like we can go for a move up the inside into the next corner. That's probably what's going to happen as long as we can keep the traction on this straight, which we can. Late braking past Kevin Magnuson. Up the inside, maybe a little bit too late on the brakes. <laughs> kind of skidding close to the wall right there. That's definitely something we have to avoid is any lockups. Looking like overtake number two for this lap on Alex Albon. We're definitely gonna be able to get the, the power down in this stage of the track right here on the dry surface with the soft compound tires. We can really stick with them up the inside, light braking there, or at least just out braking Albon. And uh, that's overtake number two on lap five now. So it's definitely, uh, the, the AI really pulled away on the straights. So they have more outright traction once they get out of, out of corners. 
just because they have the wet tires on, but uh, we are able to kind of make up that time in breaking zones like we're doing right here up the inside of Lance Stroll. And that's three overtakes in one lap. So that's that's the kind of work that we need to be putting in. Lap six now, so 14 laps remaining. And I'm not going to lie, it might be a little bit difficult to get up to uh, first place. We have a, a lot of people to get past. And again, we're on the soft compound tires. So anyway, up the inside of Perez, our teammate. And uh, that puts us into 11th position. So we still have half the field to go with uh, just under half the race distance. Daniel Ricardo is up next. Definitely losing time on the <laughs> on the uphill section. Really scary moment right there, but we make up so much time into the corners and into the braking zones. I mean, you can see he was pulling away right there up the hill, and now we're right on his ass again. So going for a move up the inside. Here we go. Braking has definitely been very tricky, but that's up the inside of Daniel Ricciardo. That's top 10 now. God, driving in the tunnel is so much... It's just such a moment of relief to actually be able to put the power down and not worry about spinning out. But anyway, really awkward. Not really close enough to make the move stick on Esteban Ocon. He cuts the chicane, and we're still side by side now heading into the next corner. I don't know how this is... This is a little bit sketchy going on the inside of Ocon. Maybe a little contact right there. Luckily, <laughs> getting through there. So we're not in too bad of a spot right now. We're on lap nine, so almost halfway through the race and we're in the top eight. The thing that's concerning me is Lando has quite a sizable gap to his teammate Piastri. You can see he's uh, in the lead by definitely a couple seconds right there. So once we get past these cars, we have more work to do to get up to, uh, to where Lando Norris is. But anyway, passing Alonso up the inside into the chicane and now Leclerc is going to be our next target here. All right, pretty close to Leclerc right now. Let's see if we can get him maybe on the start-finish straight. Unfortunately, he's going to pull away. Yeah, there he goes. They, they really pull away on the straights out of corners, but as soon as they get into the braking zone, we can uh, <laughs> we can catch right back up and overtake. So the, the AI <laughs> braking is, uh, is, is really quite sad. But Leclerc looks like he might be still attacking us. He's really close, trying to put as much power down as we can. And luckily, we uh, we live to keep this position. So top six. All right, Max versus Lewis. Who's going to take the corner? Verstappen up the inside. And it's a very, uh, very easy overtake right there. Nice and simple. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, lap 11 now. George Russell is the next guy we've got in our sights. It looks like we can't go for a move right here. A little bit, <laughs> a little contact kind of threw me off right there. But we're probably going to be able to go up the inside right where we got his teammate. Same place, same move, up the inside, and now we have Carlos Sainz ahead of us here. All right, we could probably get Sainz into the chicane. That was very close. For some reason, there's like a patch of uh, really grippy track right in front of that corner. It kind of almost has caught me out a couple times. It, the car just pulls right towards the wall. But anyway, late braking past Carlos Sainz, and that puts us on the podium. So only the two McLarens now to chase after. So you can see Lando is about six seconds ahead of uh, me and Piastri right now. So we definitely have a little bit of work cut out to catch up with uh, our front runner right here. But you can see we're definitely very close to Piastri. We could probably go for a move up the inside. This downhill braking zone has proven to work over and over. And somehow we uh, get Piastri into the same corner. So second place now, Lando, you're next. All right, a couple of laps later and we're catching up to Lando, about to set the fastest lap of the race, purple in the first two sectors and uh, green in sector three, but that's the fastest lap of the race somehow. We get it on softs in the wet, and this is ridiculous. Anyway, Lando is uh, pretty much in our sights right now. We can probably go for a move right where we got Piastri and a couple other cars this race. Unfortunately, really bad exit through the casino section. And I think we're just a little bit too far back to get Lando right here. But we have we have a lot of time to get him. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty shocked that we've been able to catch up to uh, Lando for the most part. This is going to be really awkward. No, not close enough to go for a move. That was unfortunately not uh, really able to break uh, very well. You know, Lando actually has been driving pretty well. It's not very, <laughs> it's not very easy to overtake him. Uh, I feel like everybody else we've been able to pass pretty much right away, but Lando has been kind of a different story. We're really close to him. We have been this entire lap, but there's just not really a good spot to to overtake him. This is <laughs> this is so dumb. All right, Lando is pulling away into the uphill section here, but we should be able to gain a lot of time into this braking zone. We'll get pretty close to him through here. We'll see by the casino, and we're definitely. Really close. This is a good up. This might be it right here. An overtake into the lead. We'll see. Lando's cars in the middle of the track. Makes it super awkward to overtake up the inside. That was actually really good defending 
from a 0% AI. What the hell? All right, buddy, end of the line here. I can definitely go for a move. It looks like into the chicane. As long as we get a good exit into the tunnel, we should be all set. A little bit of contact with Lando overseer on exit, but now we can put the power down on the dry track. And this is going to be an easy overtake up the inside of Lando Norris into the lead of the race. A full wet race in Monaco on softs. And we're now in the lead. So all we have to do now is make sure we don't make any mistakes for the remaining laps. Uh, okay. Lando is actually doing a pretty good job sticking with me. He's five tenths behind on the start finish straight. He's definitely going to be catching up on the straight. Looks like he might go for a move. But unfortunately, <laughs> they always break like 400 meters too early for the corner. So that's our saving grace for the most part. But uh, Lando is definitely doing a good job sticking with us, which he's doing right now. It looks like he can go for a move and decides against it. A little bit too awkward to overtake in this section of the track. So Lando has been doing a good job at least keeping pace with us for the uh, the remainder of this race. It's been really, <laughs> really close. All right, here we go. Okay, that was, <laughs> oh my God, this is <laughs> it's like literally like driving on ice. I cannot control this car. Anyway. Uh, built up a little bit of a gap to Lando now. All right, only a few laps remaining now, so as long as we uh, keep it steady, we should be good. Lando is keeping a good distance behind, but not anything too crazy. Huge lockup into this corner right now. The bumps kind of got me unstable, caused the wheels to lock up. Lando passes us into the hairpin section. Now we're gonna have to catch up to him. Luckily, no front wing damage, but huge, huge kick of oversteer trying to get back on the track. And that was a massive mistake. That was, <laughs> that was so bad. There's absolutely no way I lose to a 0% AI. No matter what the condition is, this is, that cannot happen. I want to make sure I, I uh, get Lando back here, but I'm going to try to push the car as much as I can. Huge oversteer. Definitely making up a lot of time in the corner still, which is a good sign. I mean, the tires are probably like two degrees right now. So they're super cold and it's softs on the wet track. And again, more oversteer. I cannot catch up to Lando. This is gonna be, <laughs> this actually might be pretty close. All right, it looks like we can probably go for a move into the chicane, which is where we got Lando initially to take the lead of the race a couple of laps ago. It might be a little bit close. Gonna put the power down on the dry tarmac now. And we're gonna be in the slipstream of Lando Norris. Hopefully we're close enough. It looks like this might be kind of awkward. Late breaking as much as I can. Trying to avoid a lockup side by side into the chicane. Lando is gonna cut across the track. I leave a little bit too much space. And Lando boxes me out and takes the lead yet again. So still, I cannot make a move stick on Lando Norris in front. Maybe we can go for a move up the inside into the swimming pool section on lap 18. Definitely very close for comfort. Sticking the nose up the inside. And that's where we get Lando. So now we really have to make sure we can keep this lead without any mistakes. But that was a crazy couple of corners. That has, th this has been way too close for comfort. Definitely a little ridiculous. All I'm focusing on right now is not locking up and not making any mistakes. Lando is still pretty close behind one mistake. And we're gonna have to restart this cycle all over again. Unfortunately, a little bit of a lockup into the first corner. Luckily I save it just at the very end. No contact with the wall, no front wing damage, anything like that. We keep it on the track but Lando's pushing us up the hill, pressuring us still. And I'm shocked that Lando can uh, actually keep pace with us, even though he's a 0% AI. I mean, it's, it is absolutely, <laughs> it's pretty shocking, but uh, just trying to keep it out of the wall. All right, Lando's definitely lost a lot of time to us in those last couple of corners. He's a second and a half down as we head into the tunnel and into the chicane. So I think we might be good. As long as we avoid mistakes, we should be all set. All right, starting the final lap of the race now. And uh, man, what a challenge. Three second gap to Lando, so very healthy time behind us. All we have to do is just take it easy and avoid any lockups, any mistakes, and we're good. All right, about halfway through our final lap of the race now. I'm not going to lie, that was a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Lando, I feel like, <laughs> was kind of driving beyond the levels of a 0% AI. Maybe it's just because I'm on the softs, but uh, anyway, he's too far back to make any sort of impact on this race now. We're rounding the last couple of corners. Just making sure we keep it out of the wall. And that was a uh, that was a pretty fun challenge. Final corner now onto the main straight. Starting from last on the grid on soft compound tires in Monaco. And uh, we make it to the end in first place on a very wet track. And uh, yeah, that was that was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was a lot of fun. 